Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make a purchase with Bitcoin. I am going to buy this iPad 2 skin. It's basically a sticker that goes on the outside and the back of the iPad and then you have a nice background to um, display. Anyway, this costs about $20 on Amazon and we're going to buy this with Bitcoin. Now here is how that's going to happen. First of all, I happen to have in my wallet a 0 0.0399.023 uh, of Bitcoin, which is about 21 American dollars. Bitcoin is actually doing fairly well right now, uh, $538.05 per coin. So that's uh, good to sell, and so that's what we'll do. We'll make a purchase with it. Uh, now, I could buy American dollars and uh, move this Bitcoin into my checking account, but instead, I'm going to use this Bitcoin balance to make a purchase at gift.com. Uh, I will get an Amazon.com gift card and then use that at Amazon. So that way I'm going to skip the US dollar altogether. Let's do that. So we're going to select uh, the Amazon.com card. We're going to get $20 worth of it. Buy now. And uh, now uh, it's saying, okay, what would you like to use, PayPal or Bitcoin? So we'll choose Bitcoin. And we are ready to proceed. And now it's saying, hey, you are ready to make this purchase. You've got 15 minutes to do that. And all you need to do is send money to this account. So that's what we'll do. Now, instead of trying to type it in, we're going to attempt to copy it. Let's make sure that I have the address uh, in my clipboard. All right, let's get this uh, back here. Yeah, looks like my correct address. You definitely don't want to make a typo when, when completing this transaction. So having the address in place, we'll go ahead and go to my wallet. Now, if I had the Bitcoin uh, client, which is uh, just a program that you download, I could just click on Pay with Bitcoin, and they would open... Uh, the client and, and complete the transaction there. But as is, I'm going to use a web base a wallet. Here we are. Now we are ready to send money. So let's go ahead and select the wallet. Uh, we have $21 here. We'll say send money. And we're going to provide the Bitcoin address. Uh, now let's see if we have uh, the exact Bitcoin amount. There it is. So point see here uh, we are going to hmm, 0.0374 0.0374 let's do that all right 0.0374 totaling twenty dollars and nine cents uh, this looks good Amazon card gift com and we'll say next you're about to send yes please and the magic is happening we are sending uh, the balance and now the Bitcoin network is crunching this transaction as part of an upcoming block uh, and after a number of times that this gets confirmed we will see um, this as a committed transaction and so uh, there it is. Gift.com was able to recognize it. This invoice was paid and uh, all that looks good. So let's continue. And so now I have an Amazon.com card. All right. Now let's see if we can uh, use this card. So go to my wallet uh, in Gift.com and uh, let's see. Uh, here is my card. Let's view that. And now uh, we will claim the card. So reveal the card number. There is my code. Let's go ahead and copy that. Uh, let's see. Apply to account. Hey, even easier. We'll go ahead and say apply this card to the account. I need to log in, which is fine and uh, redeem the card here it is apply to the account 
And now look at that. I have $20 to spend on Amazon. Let's do that. Let's go to Amazon, say add to cart, and now uh, we are ready. I have um, apparently other things in my checkout, so we'll have to uh, figure out uh, what it is that uh, I might have uh, put in my cart before that. Let's proceed to checkout. Amazon knows everything about me, so it already knows my address and other things. Uh, Two-day shipping sounds great. $20, $20 gift card, perfect. Place the order. And uh, there it is. The item is on its way. Uh, delivery coming uh, very soon. What we did here is we used uh, Bitcoin to purchase a gift card and then use this gift card on Amazon to make a purchase. Now, there is a whole lot of different uh, cards that you can purchase from gift.com and all that can be done with uh, Bitcoin. So uh, many of the stores that uh, you might be familiar with are present here. So there's a great flexibility on how to spend the uh, cryptocurrency. If you have uh, different currency like Litecoin, you can uh, convert it into Bitcoin or you can uh, use a store that actually does accept uh, Litecoin or another cryptocurrency. All right, so uh, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this uh, video and uh, we'll talk to you soon.